Well, we're back and we're going to be doing Hello. all the extra classes. What can I help you with? These are the courses you can Of course, I'll be going accept. through all of the extra ones. And Would you like since to this chapter, this we course? only have one that we didn't actually go through. So, this one's a little difficult to actually figure out. But once you actually know how to do it, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I know that sounds pretty fucking obvious, but... <laughs> the hardest part is trying to figure out exactly what you're trying to accomplish. And to make a high quality medicine, <laughs> of course, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna just make a regular heal jar. That's what amateurs do. We're gonna punch it up a bit and make it exhale, because by this time you should have the exhale actual. You should have the actual exhale recipe. So instead of doing that, we're gonna just. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, by this chapter you have had the. You have gotten the exhale recipe. So we're gonna make the exhale. Of course, we're gonna make it the best exhale we can. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And this one, we don't really need support cards. And I would suggest during this time, during this chapter, is to actually use, uh, anytime it has an auto synthesize, try to find a way to get rid of that by just having them do it on random stuff that you don't care about, like heals by this time. Just have them run through there. Because you want to get rid of those, because the special abilities is what you're going to need to get some of the other, to actually be able to do some of the other classes or side jobs. So now we've finished with that, we can turn this in. Of course at 100 ether level, we would be getting an A. I think if you give a 100 ether level heal, you'll get a B, and you pretty much crappy versions assignment. of either one will probably get you either First, a B or a C. I'm not exactly sure. That's been given to you. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Went to the wrong place. And that's what happens if you go here to yeah, we're supposed to actually go to the classroom. Whoops. Let's take ourselves and get ourselves our A. And I don't remember if I actually showed you this extra scene, so I'm going to show it to you again if I haven't before. There's a couple of extra scenes I'm pretty sure I didn't show during the actual playthrough. They generally happen. Well, I can't remember the conditions for this one except for it. You have to at least go on at one of Anna's. You have to go on to at least one of Anna's character side quests to actually have done. So get this one. Oh wait, or is this the one where she joins? She just. Oh sorry, this is the one where she just joins the group. So. That's not the one. There's another one that actually happens. Man, this one's good enough. We're good. Silly rigs. See, high quality. You gotta listen to the teacher. Gotta read between the lines. See? Gold star for me. Yeah, pretty much telling you. I've already told you about the liberation. Deviations. Derivatives. And of course, with that, we earn ourselves an A, and of course, we earn our free time. So, let's go on to the next class. Now, this one's really annoying, and this is why I told you to probably Hello. you should what run through you with? all your IO synthesis and get These those out, the out of the system. Accept. So, we're going to be doing Would synthesis you like to 5. Take this course? Please, head to your classroom on time.
Yeah. Is it ever easy? Okay, it's airplane. Yeah, we know that Unabomber. Ah, even cold in the classroom. Now, yeah, she says make it neatly. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right out. There's no neatly attribute to items, but there is detailed, which pretty much is neat. I mean, it is. It means you took time and effort, because 100% Terra Flame is a crude one. So we're gonna have to find a way to get a low ether level. I'll pretty much show you how to get the ether level range for detail is pretty small. It's from 15 to 25. Yeah, but don't worry. I've well, <laughs> I'm not gonna worry at least. But it should be easy enough to get this because if you know about how to, well, let's just say screw up. actual ether levels, well to power them down, and using your synthesis cards, you're gonna need those as well. Now let me save real quick, that way I won't have to keep on doing this over and over again. I had to do this at least like three times, because it was annoying. So let me get to my terraflame, make sure I have all the ingredients of course. And we have the ingredients. Now let's mm, use yum, yum, yum. the keys. Drop it down to zero. <laughs> Easily done. And we go up to ten, and we'll get this one. Get ourselves up to twenty. Now, of course, we have a small range, so get the blank one, and usually that one will either increase it by... It is like a random chance. It'll increase it by three, well, up to three, or decrease it down to three. So I pretty much was in the clear. Just remember that one. Of course, there's a couple of items that actually have that as its card, and those won't do anything, but you're never going to want to do power downs on those anyway. Now, I'm not going, I'm not going to go through combat four, because all it is is avoiding enemies, and the way to get through that one is to just use treasure capes if you really have trouble doing it. Yeah, you know, and remember treasure capes only lasts for one section. That means once you do a, tra a screen transition, the it cuts off. So I would say bring at minimum three. If you really think you're gonna suck at it, bring five, because there are about five or so screens. Hello, what can I help you with? So we're gonna go right to Synthesis 7. These are the courses you can currently accept. Would now you this like one, to take this, some, course? this one takes about a good amount of time because you're gonna be running around the resource center Please, area. Head to your classroom on time. And the way to get an A on this one, well, I'll show you how to get the A. Let's Zeppel finish talking. Yes, the flask. It's kind of funny, I can make a complex sword that throws shurikens, yet the difficult thing to make is an Illermeyer flask. You know what? I'm not even going to really question it too much. No, no, there's... There's a method to his madness. Not much of effort. <laughs> not much of a method, not much madness, but still, it's there. So let's go to the resource center and get ourselves a flask. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, 
there's actually two places, well if you check your map you'll see there's two places to get flask at and uh, of course I suggest just going both places because doing so will pretty much guarantee you an aim. If you get one of them, depends on which one you actually grab, you can still get an A. And it would pretty, and when I show you, it's going to be pretty apparent which one you probably should go to if you want to get an A. And of course, we're not going to show me walking all the way to these places. We're just going to go through a door and pretty much end up where I need to be. And you should be able to recognize these places. And this is a regular flask. As you can see by the exclamation point to our right, obviously this is not all there is to this quest. And I think if you turn this one in, you will get a C, I think. Uh, no, I never actually did it. I, always, I was always entranced by the recipe over there. And if you check, I think if you check your handbook, it should tell you exactly what you need to do. And since there's still one on our map, we'll be going to that one. And you see the treasure chest here, which contains the rusty, fla rusty flask. And of course, well, obviously, which <laughs> we've, we're not stupid here, people. We obviously know which one is going to be the one that gets us an A, even though I've been pretty much hinting at it liberally. So let's take ourselves, well, first let me grab this. And let's take ourselves back to the workshop. And with this, we're going to need some polished powder. Obviously, by this time, you definitely are going to have it. If you you can even buy it by now. So we're taking this. Take our key item, the flask of Galileo. And use a rescue flask with a polish powder. And since it's like any other key item, it doesn't do anything. So we're just gonna. It there's no there's no way to increase or decrease ether level. So there. And now we're gonna take this to the classroom and get our A. I think I think you fail if you just bring in the rusty one. And we're gonna check our handbook. Take it right to the classroom. Is it take the dirty flask? I don't know why. <laughs> you would think it would change it to Galileo's flask or something, but yes, not. Eh. Minor detail. Of course, we're heading back. We're finished. Uh, yeah, that's how we roll. Now, well, with this over and getting our A, obviously, we're going to be going to the next, well, the second half of classroom, um, extra classes. And this time we're actually going to be stabbing things in the face. So, see you next time.